it's the week between paydays how about that that's a better way to say it so what I like to do today is to look into the bank account look into my cash wallet see how much I have left so what I did was take the balance that's left in the bank account and I'm subtracting the bills that have not come out yet most of these have already been paid they're just waiting to be you know withdrawn <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. I am here to represent the hardworking, low income, single parent. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button, the, the like button, <laughs> and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, today everybody, it's the middle of the week. It's time for us to do our midweek check-in. Well, I mean, it's the week between paydays. How about that? That's a better way to say it. So what I like to do today is to look into the bank account, look into my cash wallet, see how much I have left, make sure that I have enough to cover the bills that haven't come out yet, um, and to cover any other expenses that I have coming up, and also to monitor which bills have already come out to make sure we're all on track with everything we need to do uh, for our budget. So what I've already gone ahead and done is to check the bank account for how much is left. So the, I have two bank accounts, two main checking accounts. Let me put it like that because I have a lot of bank accounts. But I have two main checking accounts, which is what I checked during my midweek review. So in my bill account, I have 343.48 left. And in my main account, I have 95 left, $95 left. So I went in and looked at the bills that I had due from my budget sheet. So all these sheets kind of work together. Let me show you what I mean. So this is the sheet that I filled out during my prepaid aid prep. So if you wanna watch that video, make sure you do, so you can follow along a little bit better. So I checked to see, you know, what other bills are here that haven't come out yet. One thing I noticed, which is why I'm so glad I do these midweek check-ins, I almost stopped doing them, but you know how it's just so important. I always find something that I almost missed. So what happened was this $75 for extra utility, I never paid that. I don't know how I missed it, <laughs> but I never paid that. But thankfully, we are paying these early, so it's not due until the middle of February, so it's not like a late fee or anything. But I did go in and pay that. So everything really I've paid, it just not everything has come out yet. Um, so that's what this midweek check-in is for. So thank God I was doing the midweek check-ins. So I caught that. I caught that, um, you know, before it was too late. So I wrote out the bills that have not come out yet. Car insurance has already come out. Internet has already come out. Uh, mortgage came out, which should have come out last pay period, but it didn't. So that came out. Yeah. So I wrote down what bills are still left to come out. And I ended up with a little bit of extra money. So let's see. And I'll explain the buffer in a second. So what I did was take the balance that's left in the bank account and I'm subtracting the bills that have not come out yet. Most of these have already been paid. They're just waiting to be, you know, withdrawn from the bank account. I hate how that whole process takes, but that's what it is. Amazon and Netflix aren't due yet. So that's why they are still in there. So let's subtract and see what we have. All right, so that leaves us with 1207. So in the beginning of the week when I did my cash stuffing, check out that video as well, I had $10 extra from gas. So I thought it was gonna take me $60 to fill up my tank and it only took 50. So I had that extra $10 and then there was some $2.07 left over. I round these bills to the nearest dollar, I round up. So that's why sometimes there's some extra change. I really got to stop, start muting, turning off. Oh my God, silencing my phone before I record these videos. And I really need a new phone, you guys. I really do. It's so slow and I'm afraid there's going to be an emergency and I need it. So I, I have to, I can't even think of budgeting that in right now because there's no room for it. But, you know, someday... <laughs> That's something I need to think about very soon. 
So the buffer, you will see that the buffer here in the bill account is now $60. It was $100 for the bill account and the buffer in the main account was $95. So that's just money that's there for cushion in case I forget to factor in a bill, like, you know, that utility, extra utility payment that I forgot, or in case some emergency comes up, you know, something small that I needed. So I ended up using it because, excuse my nails, by the way, they look like I've been chewing on them, but I promise I just rushed and <laughs> I'm gonna redo them again <laughs> tonight or tomorrow. But I know this is a tragedy. I, ugh, I've never come on camera like this, but I don't have time. So um, next thing. Okay, so we were talking about the buffer. Yes. So normally the bill account has a $100 buffer and the main account has a $95 buffer. It's something I've built up over time. If you have watched my previous videos, you'll know that I started with putting $10 in at a time. And then I was able to get it all the way up to $100 and $95. So the bill buffer I did have to use today because we were finally, I've been looking for a hairdresser for like a year, <laughs> like one steady one. So I finally found one. She does have a $40 deposit. And of course the, um, the money for that is here in my daughter's binder. So I just took it from the buffer and I will, I don't know if I want to replace it. It depends on whether she wants to take cash or the debit card for payment. So I will ask her about that. The appointment is on Saturday, but for now we've used the buffer. I can always build that back up. Um, the issue is that we saved up 225 for the hair appointment and it's actually 250. <laughs> I know it hurts. That's a lot of money. I know, I know, but <laughs> I have carpal tunnel. I cannot do my daughter's hair anymore. It's too thick. There's too much. And I just can't. So I have to pay somebody to do it. And I have seen her work. This girl is really good. She gets back to me. So let's just see how it goes for this one time. And hopefully we can build that back up for the next time that she needs it done. But for now, this hairstyle, she's getting braids, so it should last her at least three to four weeks. So we'll have time to start building that back up. Might There might be a period of time where she doesn't have her hair done, but that's okay with me. We're not like super strict about that. I can always do a small design, but it's definitely time for her to get her hair done. So we're going to do that. Um, that's an expense that I do not mind having to pay for her. So... Basically, we are down to zero. I've zeroed this out. I am a zero base budgeter. So all the time I I want to make sure that what's in the bank account, everything has a job or a place to go. And if it doesn't, like this extra $12 that we have from gas, if it's still there, hopefully, I mean, I shouldn't have, need 10 more dollars in gas before next week. But if it's still there, I will keep it as part of the buffer. So that's why I put that little $72. So that will bring our buffer back up to $72 instead of 60. I mean, it should be 100. But you know what, that's that's where we are right now. So I also did have to use quite a few sinking funds this pay period. So I want to show you that unfortunately so we used pet so pet we used uh sixty dollars i don't know what the starting balance is of this I, i'd have to pull out my sinking funds let me do that now might as well do it real quick i do have somewhere i need to go so i'm trying to be fast so i apologize if i miss anything but please feel free to um, leave me a comment if you have any questions or, you know, check out some of my other other midweek check-ins that aren't as rushed as this is. Paycheck C. I have not added Paycheck C yet. We got three pay periods this month. Usually it's only two, but because of the way the paydays fell, we got three. So I'll have to add another sheet to enter in, you know, what we've added to the sinking fund so far. We had for pet, we had 63 and then we added $10. So we had, it started with $73 at the beginning of the pay period we used 60 and now has 13 dollars left womp womp but we did buy in bulk so she has wet food she has dry food and i ended up having to buy a small pack of dry food from the grocery store because the other food wouldn't come in time mind you i like to stock up on stuff i hate to run out but someone who's in charge of that just forgot to tell me and with my memory you know, it took a couple days for me to remember to do it. But of course, we're not going to let her run out of food completely. So in the meantime, I went to the store and bought, you know, something 
to hold her over. So mom miscellaneous, we did have to use some of that. And that's because if, again, if you saw my cash stuffing video, I had a pipe that I don't know if it broke, it came loose, whatever, but it had to be replaced. I was thinking like $50. Yeah, no, way wrong. It was $120. So I had that $50 that I had saved to the side, um, but I still needed, do math brain. I still needed $70. We're going to pretend like I just do that off the top of my head. So I still had $70 that I needed to pay. So I ended up emptying mom miscellaneous. Unfortunately, I know it sucks. So mom miscellaneous, it started the, the pay period is right here. $40 we had and then we added $10 from the paycheck. So it started with $50 and we took $50. So it now has zero. Actually, I think I took $50 out of Mom Beauty. Yeah, I took $50 out of Mom Beauty, not Mom Miscellaneous. I just decided to take it out of that envelope because I, you know, it just seemed the most reasonable. I, I don't plan on using it anytime soon, so that's where it came out of. Mom Miscellaneous. Oh, God, I got this all wrong. So Mom Miscellaneous had 50 Mom Beauty also at 50 so that's okay that's fine so out of mom miscellaneous so we took 50 we had to take 20 dollars out of mom miscellaneous so all together that's the 120 so mom miscellaneous now has 30 dollars so we use a total of and then this miscellaneous deposit was that 50 dollars that was in there we use 50 dollars and now there's zero so our starting was 223 um we also use 40 dollars of this buffer i'm not going to include that in the total but these are just for me i like to look back at these just to see you know where the money went if i ever want to do like a full review of how i'm doing with my finances so there's 180 dollars that we used and we have 43 left in pet and mom miscellaneous combined so, you know, that's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, yep. So, that's what we've used. We'll build those back up. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Now, as far as the variable expenses, which are the expenses that I keep in my wallet on a day-to-day -day basis. So, I take them everywhere I go with me. And those are these here. Personal, home, gas, entertainment, dining, and miscellaneous. So, I put down our beginning balances here. Um, and then I wrote myself a little note, I'd love to do that, <laughs> that uh, gas we just took from the bank, we didn't take it out in cash. So we know that we have $10 left in gas. Let's look at the others, because we used 50. All right, this is my little note, I put that in there today, I said that I was going to do that, just to remind myself on the days that I don't want to spend what I'm not you know, to remind myself not to spend. Okay, personal has nothing left. We used all of that. Home has nothing left. We used all of that on payday. Actually, we used $43 in home. So we had negative three there. And I believe I took that from dining. We took that from dining. So dining, we actually started with $72 in cash. Okay, personal, like I said, there's nothing left. So we used 50 and there's zero left. Home, we used 43, so there was a negative three there. Gas, like I said, we still have $10 in the bank account. Dining, started with $72 in cash. And there is actually, this is probably the first time in many, many months, a long, long, long time ago those days. Do you lose these for your butt? At the old house, our house, our old house, don't you? No, put them back. I thought you. The other day, the, 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 the long, long, long time ago those days, it, you, you, you do lose it sometimes. Where I actually have some money left in dining. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars left in dining out. Yay, confetti. That never happens. So that means we spent 
$60. Still a good amount to have spent, but you know, for us, there's something left that never happens. At least for now, entertainment has $25, $31 left. Entertainment usually have some, has some money left. Um, we tend to find free stuff to do. Um, and let's see, miscellaneous, we already know, we spent the $20 for miscellaneous, so there's zero left. There's nothing in there. So gas is in the bank account. And then miscellaneous has nothing left. And that's just some change. I do use that deposit uh, section in case I need to take anything back to the bank. So if I decide to take back that $40 from my daughter's beauty envelope, which is her savings, um, if I decide to take that cash back to the bank, that's where I'll put it in, you know, until I can get to the bank. So total for variables, we spent... Fifty plus forty-three, fifty, sixty, fourteen, twenty. We spent two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. And we have so let's just make that zero. Ten plus fifteen plus thirty-one. We have fifty-six dollars left in cash. Um wait. 10 plus 15 plus 31. Well, we have $46 in cash and then we have the $10 in the bank account, which I probably won't do that again. Clearly that can be confusing. So I probably will just take the money out when I need it for these expenses. I, I mess myself up when I do that, but it's a learning curve. I like to try different things to see what works for me and what doesn't, and that does not. Sometimes I try things and they work out a lot better than what I've been doing, so you know, then I keep doing those things. All right, so I mean, that's it for the midweek check in. It's pretty simple, it doesn't have to be anything super hard. I could have stopped right here. I mean, that's all I really need to know. I could have stopped right here, but um, I like. To keep these details and these um you know all these sheets kind of work together these sheets are all available on the etsy this one is not but i have the savings tracker so i'll show you guys all of the sheets that are available one of these days but you can always go ahead and take a look at seriously saving.etsy.com to take a look at um which which of these are available and we are going to do a sinking funds update at the end of january so i can't wait to close out january just to see you know where we are what we spent and how we did this january was um it was an okay month it was an okay month i don't think that we did bad besides you know all the sinking funds that i've had to use i feel like i've had to use a lot this month we'll see i'm not too worried about it so that is it for me today do uh, what i want to know is do you guys do a midweek check-in do you think that it's necessary i honestly every time that i do it i'm like oh my god what if i didn't do this so i think it's very necessary i mean if you're new to budgeting especially if you're new to budgeting honestly i think that it's important just to make sure all of the bills that you plan on paying are being paid and just to catch anything what if it comes out and you overdraft or that's really what i started doing it for just to avoid any overdrafts um because unfortunately that used to happen hasn't happened i'm not gonna jinx myself knock on this is not real wood but um if it was i don't want to jinx myself so, all right, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for spending time with me today. I want you to always remember it is about progression and not about perfection. Thanks for watching and happy saving, you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.